What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a new video. This one up here, it is Thursday, June 2nd, and today, a little bit later on today, is the first game of the NBA Finals with the Celtics and the Warriors. And you know, I'm a Celtics like my Boston teams. I'm repping the Celtics shirt that I wore and bought back in Boston with my grandma back in 2010 when they unfortunately lost to the damn Lakers in seven games. And we're coming back home on the flight home in game seven. And they were up. And I was like, oh, they're going to win. And then they, they lost. And I was so mad getting off the plane when they lost. It was, it was horrible. But they're going to redeem themselves. They're going to beat the damn Warriors. Probably seven games it'll take it. But they're going to beat the Warriors, man. Come on, Celtics. Come on, Celtics. Yes. And this shirt's been 12 years old and still fits pretty good. Still fits. Oh, oh, yeah. They hit up a couple spots. I feel kind of nostalgia. Throwback Thursday, you know, so I posted a picture of me with my Vision skateboard as a kid on my Instagram a little bit ago. I just felt the nostalgia vibes. Celtics had this shirt, what, 12 years, wearing it today, repping the Boston Celtics. And also, I have a nice, just, I figured I would check out some nostalgia stuff. A couple, one spot in town, I'm check out some nostalgia goodness. And I'll start this video. I have a nice little stack right there, as you can see, of some awesome reviews I'm going to share with you guys, some awesome upcoming movies. I've actually I have a nice little stack of some still books. So look out for that towards the end of this video, like a few still books or so that are out now that came out a couple days ago or are coming out next week or the week after. So a nice variety of goodness for you guys just to show you toward the latter part of this video. But let's get down to it now. Nostalgia fun, Celtics day. Oh yeah, let's get down to it now. Let's go. And real quick before I go, I got this about a week ago is this the cassette tape of Friday the 13th part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan soundtrack from uh, Terrorvision. I bought this, it's sold out now, but being very cool. I think I showed you guys this. I put a post on my Instagram and stuff, but it has all the songs and movie. Good, good stuff, and I love it. It has like reversal uh, cover art, one from the movie, and I like this one, I love New York, but just figure I show you guys. I don't know if you guys got this or not, or heard of it uh, from Terrorvision, but yeah, good, good stuff. Now, let's go. All right, first spot we're going to for some retro goodness. You know, I got the kind of nostalgia vibe. We're gonna hit up TC Rockets somewhere Ooh, right there. I haven't been here in a few months or possibly longer, but you know, they have all the cool retro toys and you know, I got, got that nostalgia vibe. Maybe, maybe I'll pick up something in there. You never know. And uh, it's always fun us to check out and see what kind of new stuff they might have got in their inventory for some retro goods and whatnot. And what better way for some nostalgia fun uh, than this? And as you go in, you got a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle goods. Some newer figures. I think there's like new old release looking things. These are cool because they look very much old school looking. And they got the old cases, which I have my turtle toys in these in one of these cases. It's in my closet. Um, you guys probably seen it before, but dude, old old turtle truck. I used to have that. Never found it when I moved out. It makes me mad, but I can buy the new one. It looks like the old one. Dude, that, that. That's cool. 30 bucks is Domino's Pizza. Like a little Domino's pizza thing. That's brand new. The old turtle toothbrush. I think that's actually, that, that, that's new. Look at all this stuff. Dude, yes. Turtle goodness. Oh, the Neutrinos car. I remember having that. And up there you can see that's the old, uh, you know, by Playmates, the Teenage Mutant Turtles van, like the box. That's cool. Look at this, dude. And it's $1,200. $1,200. But dude. That is awesome. Holy my god. Wish I went, man, that dude, I would love that. Oh my goodness. And look at this. This is so cool. I've been wanting, I, wanted, I wanted to find this at, uh, I think they had it at, uh, didn't they have like a Walmart? This like NECA like exclusive. Oh my god, that is so rad. Does this come with like all, it comes with all the turtles, right? Doesn't it? Doesn't this come with all the turtles? Or I could be wrong. I think it does. They come like on stage, like that really bad, that bad torture you have on VHS. Very cool, man. That is actually tempting to get, dude. That's that, that, that's pretty rad. Mask, man. I used to love mask as a kid. Such a cool, like kind of like a sort of a Transformers GI Joe sort of combo. Look at this GI Joe figure. Look at this guy. It's like so 80s. It's like Japanese. Look at that. Never seen it before. That figure. These ones too, dude. That look at that guy. His back guts. Awesome looking. Oh, oh my goodness. So much goods up in here. They always got like more like different stuff. Every time I come in here, like well, I come here a lot, but every few months or so I come in there, they always have a ton of stuff. Man, it's so, so, so cool. Little Battlestar Galactica shirt. So rad. Okay. 
and up here they have a whole bunch of more like ninja, like ninja turtle stuff like the newer ones but they kind of get that old school look like shredder and stuff and the foot clan like from the cartoon dude they got so much here like, the, like these are cool like these are rad from uh, like yes. super seven it's like a better version of the original toy yeah it's awesome come on and they even have this, like the Raphael Frankenstein monster one. Okay, like oh, that's me, cool. Okay, Forty bucks. That's actually pretty rad. Got a little horror. He's a little Ninja Turtle. That's awesome. Looking, I love a piece of Frankenstein. That's actually tempting to pick up. Oh my goodness, dude! So much good stuff here. You got He Man. With, uh, Thundercats going on. Oh my god, dude! You can easily drop some coin up in here. There's so much stuff. Even get some some wrestling figures, some AEW stuff going on right up here. Some Cody Rhodes, <laughs> and up here you have some Rainbow Bright. I remember liking the movie a lot as you know a kid growing up. Rainbow Bright, freaking cool. My neighbors were girls, and they actually had this. That's that's actually pretty cool. Well, Ghostbuster stuff, which I've seen like last time I was here. Basically, they put a few more in here of some Ghostbuster goodness. Uh, really cool though. Is that fits in price right there. It might be. But uh, I don't know. It kind of kind of looks like I don't think it is though. They got like Voltron, like little those little mini ones. I used to have those. When I was a kid. Now it's like ninety five bucks. Oh, I wish I still had it. But yeah, I got the trap. I got a few of these things still, which is good. And for all you ladies out there, they got Barbie's Dream House, where that was like the go to thing. Like when you're you know growing up, like what like early nineties, the late eighties, early nineties. If you're a girl, you play Barbies. I, I, you want to get that Barbie's Dream House? Look at that, huge in the box. That's Things humongous or in more he man awesomeness and all kinds of stuff like original and some of the newer ones, like the, the, the ones that are selling at Walmart and stuff. But yeah, all kind of hoverboard, There's so much stuff here. Transformers, it's just so much to get. Like, man, nostalgia goodness, like overload. I, I love it. Oh man, it's like just, just tons. Oh, I just left TC Rockets and you know, going in there, you cannot like not get anything. So I did buy something in here, which I did not show in video, I don't think so. Nice surprise at the very end of the video, I'll show you what I got. It's very retro cool and for a really good deal. And yeah, pretty dang, pretty awesome. So let's go somewhere else now. Next spot we're going to, uh, not too far from TC Rockets. I'm in La Mesa going to Hobby Lobby. Why? Because I never, I don't think I've ever recorded at a Hobby Lobby. And uh, so if you want to get your own place, going to get some home decor and things like that. So I'm going to go in there and see what they got. Sometimes I get some pretty neat things that I've seen from people like showing stuff on TikTok and whatever. So. Listen, check it out. And over here, it's kind of funny. This Walmart, neighbor Walmart, that design of it. Can you guys make out what that building used to be? I'll give you guys a sec. That used to be a D.O.W. Dow building. Actually, you know what? Actually, Circuit City, I believe, too. Like the big plug. And I think it became D.O.W. Dow. Then became Good Guys. That building was different incarnations. And now it's a neighborhood market at Walmart. But yeah, Circuit City was cool back when. I think that's my very first store I bought my DVDs at way back when I got my PS2. The very first two DVDs I ever bought were right inside there. It was uh, Pulp Fiction and Natural Born Killers. We're inside there, my very first two DVDs. I don't remember why I remember that, but I do remember it. But let's go inside Hype Lobby and uh, I don't know. Let's just see what they got. I haven't really recorded in there, so maybe they hope they get something cool. I always see people post stuff. It looks like they have neat things. A lot of fake plants. Those are good to have at the pad. I mean, you know, they're good decor. Maybe I'll put some of these, get some of these by the fish tank, but yeah, it's a big, big place. Let's go. I have nowhere to go, but uh, we'll, go, we'll go somewhere. Neon lips. I might need those, you know, above, you know, up on my bed, you know, like, you know, you know, the bachelor pad, you know, the lips. I don't know. But maybe, maybe not. Probably not. But yeah, a lot of, bunch of lights. Here's like a bunch of clearance stuff they have going on. Little lights, all kinds of different lights. These are kind of cool. Pac-Man arcade, dude. That's, that's pretty, pretty rad. And eh, whatever over there. But that's pretty cool. You get this, the man cave. That's pretty neat, too. They actually have some pretty cool stuff here. I never really ventured off in here that much. Pretty neat things like this R2D2, like popcorn ceramic deal. A, a Super Mario Brothers mar uh, mushroom and all kinds of like these are like controllers, to, like snacks in, popcorn buckets, retro 80s looking stuff, whatever. These are the Golden Girls, stay golden. What? So pretty neat things, cool cups. I did see in some TikToks, they had some pretty neat cups. I don't see the ones I want to get here, but they actually had some neat cups. Uh, one of the people I wanted to get if they had it, but I don't know. These are all the cups they have. They might, these might be all the ones they have. I don't know. They're above. Look at that. They look like a Nintendo cartridge, coffee mugs. That's like The Legend of Zelda. And then they have Super Mario Brothers. Look at that one. 
Dude, but it's way up there. I don't think there's any down below here. If I wanted to get one of those ones, I think they're like half off. I'm gonna look around and see if there's anything down below. If not, I have to go up there and try to get one. All right, so here is the mug. Pretty cool. This is like a Nintendo cartridge, like Mario Brothers. That, that's pretty rad. It's, uh, I think, yeah, to a 20, but I think it's half off, so it's 10 bucks. I might get this. Kick around some creepy styrofoam heads. I used to have, uh, get these, like, well, I had one of them for, like, my Michael Myers shape mask uh, back when. <laughs> Put the mask on, I displayed it in my room. That's what I did. That's what I did. These things, like, when you're a kid, build your own rockets. They were kind of, like, the thing to do. I remember these when I was a kid. Get that. And, of course, these, which I've not seen, like, this stuff in years. These, like, balsa wood planes. I remember getting these as a kid six bucks now but i remember like um they're like a dollar i think they're like a dollar or like less like 50 cents back in the day we were getting these at a playco and stuff and things of that nature styrofoam playing dude i've not seen these in forever like these kind of things they almost got the same packaging but i remember they're a dollar i'm gonna pay six bucks for this it was like a dollar we totally get it i think that's the only ones they have and just but yeah that's kind of cool i haven't seen these in like forever i did end up getting that super mario brothers nintendo cup coffee cup I really like my coffee cups. That thing is too retro cool not to get. So I had to get that. It was like $10, like half off. So if you want to get some cool cups and all kinds of cool things. Dude, Hobby Lobby is pretty dang dope. And thanks to uh, my good friend Disney Sweet Stuff, she posted like a video of this like a week ago on some uh, TikToks of some cool stuff at, uh, at Hobby Lobby and other things. So check her out on her TikTok and let her know that Cinna Soccer is I'll put a link down below. She's really cool for like all kinds of neat, cool things like that. She had a video go viral a few days ago. It has like over 4 million views. So check her out. She's awesome if you like Disney stuff cool things like this retro stuff all kinds of fun stuff check her out link down below she, she's awesome so yeah throw, throw it out there like that now i'm not sure where i'm going next we're just gonna go right, i'm back home now i was gonna go out a couple more other spots but you know i was like you know what i'm gonna go home because i got my thoughts and opinions of some awesome steel books some other stuff i want to share with you guys some really really cool stuff look out for that right now then after that, i gotta show you what i picked up at the toy store I, I, it's, it's, it's freaking retro cool. So after that, I'm gonna show you what I picked up over there. It is like, dude, it's it's awesome. All right, on to the movie reviews right now. We got some awesome titles to talk about from a couple of companies start right now with Paramount Pictures. Link down below if you wanna get these upcoming titles and titles that are already out now. And more, look them out down below and check them out. First, I'm gonna start with this, which is cool. This came out like, uh, this came out like about a month ago, but I got it about a week later when it came out. That is a Friday the 13th, part three. Steelbook here on Blu-ray. Check that out. Very cool, beautiful Steelbook. Look at the back of that thing. Be right back, so cool. Open it up for you guys, you can check it out. Look at that beautiful Steelbook. Digital code right behind that. And yeah, what's cool, this is gonna come out, the very first movie is gonna come out on 4K, I believe in September, so look out for that if you're into the 4K. That's gonna be coming out the very first movie. And hopefully all the other movies will be out in 4K too. And here is the inside contents, nice little picture right there of Jason. This is where he first gets the hockey mask. But it's a beautiful steel book. So in case you're interest, interested in this, uh, get this now. I think you, could probably, you might be able to find it at Best Buy. If not, maybe on uh, the website of Paramount might be able to still have it for sales. Limited edition, but that thing just pops. Looks so cool. And yeah, just a good one right there for the collection for sure. And next up here, another steel book. I have quite like about at least four steel books I'm talking about. So it's like a steel book video kind of review thing so really cool stuff and this one's a great 80s movie directed by brian de palma and beautiful steelbook and that is the untouchables right up here in 4k and did you also get a digital code with this thing this is a beautiful still let me take off the, the back little sleeve right there all-star cast you know starring kevin costner and you got uh robert De Niro's al capone you get sean connery in this thing andy garcia and a bunch of others you know, and so, uh, Kevin Costner plays like Elliot Ness, you know, back in like the 30s, you know, Prohibition era Chicago, trying to put down Al Capone and his mob that, you know, during that time, Prohibition you know, about booze was illegal. So trying to put all that out in this great, great movie. Look at this beautiful box, uh, beautiful steel book. And this looks and sounds incredible in 4K. I watched this about a week ago. This, this already just came out this past week, May 31st. This is available now if you want to get this at. Beautiful steel book. Uh, I love how they look at the bullet holes right there. Great movie. A lot of, uh, when I, I watched this in a while and I was watching this, it reminded me of like an old classic gangster movie meets like 80s shooting them shoot up and killing and gore. And I got, got crazy gore, but you know, but like a lot of bloodshed. And Brian De Palma also directed Scarface uh, a little bit before this too. So this has some great, great shootouts in this thing. Great, intense music, intense movie. 
awesome acting, great period piece vibe to it, but has like an edge to it because all the shootings are very violent and just great stuff. Over two hours, I think it's about over, over two hours long. Great, fantastic movie, beautiful steelbook. I'll show you guys the inside contents of it. Let me show you, take out the digital code and show you what it looks like inside up here. And you get the one disc, that is the 4K right there. Like I said, this thing looks and sounds amazing. And it has a bunch of extra features, this thing. You get some vintage interviews, some new interviews with uh, Brian De Palma. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff in this thing. It's, it's loaded up. A beautiful steelbook, very collector of steelbooks. This one looks superb. And so it sounds and looks amazing in 4K. I was like, wow, they really, with the action and stuff in this thing, the shootouts, you really, you feel like you're right there. It's so good, good, good stuff, good gangster. We feel like gangster flicks. And you got Father's Day coming up and your dad or your husband or whatever likes mob movies. This would be a great Father's Day gift for sure, it would be that. This one right here, a nice cult movie. 40th anniversary and that is Grease 2 up here on Steelbook. And this comes out next week, June 7th. So kind of put it out there. I got this early to review and it looks and just sounds so fun. You know, campy movie, yes, it's very campy. A little, little you know, a little uh, cringe, but in the best way possible. If a great, you know, fun music, if you like, like, you know, cheesy, fun musicals, that's what this is. You know, starring Michelle Pfeiffer and Maxwell Caulfield. This came out in 1982, 40 years ago. That is nuts. And here is the back of it. And I'll take off the sleeve. Beautiful uh, steelbook. I like the color that, that turquoise that shines. And you go know, the... T-Birds, the Pink Ladies, they go to Ryback High again in the sequel to the original Grease. And in this one up here, you get them two from different backgrounds and they just fall for each other. Good song, great song, it's like a cool, cool rider. You know, because he rides, he rides like, you know, a motorcycle in this thing, Maxwell Caulfield. And just uh, over to this, there's some fun stuff. You get some people from the original movie in this thing too. And then you get some new people in it also. It's just a fun, you know, fun vibe, just a great popcorn flick. You bring over your girlfriend, you watch this, or some have watched with a bunch of friends, and just kind of sing along to it. It's just some good, cheesy, fun, musical, 80s, early 80s style goodness. I feel like stuff like Xanadu and things like that. You'll definitely get a kick out of Grease too. Uh, I like it. Some people don't like it. I think it's pretty fun and good cheese. We're up there with like Xanadu, the Apple, you know, just some fun, good stuff. If you like some stuff like that, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. I'll show you the inside contents of it inside. And here he is on Blu-ray up here. And you show, let me take out the Blu-ray for you, see what it looks like right there. You got Maxwell Caulfield trying to get Michelle Pfeiffer, one of those nice little sequences they do, little dream sequences up in this thing. And uh, yeah, this looks like, this just pops. It just pops, man. Put that disc in there again. Love that color. This thing, dude, really great job, Paramount. Beautiful cover, great piece. So just, if you're a fan of this movie, this never looked and sounded so better. Especially in steelbook form, make a great gift too. And just some fun stuff up here. Grease 2. Don't let the hate, don't, don't listen to the hate, man. Appreciate, it's a fun one is this. You, I'd be entertained, I, I enjoyed it um, for what it is for sure. And yeah, Grease 2, definitely some cult classic musical goodness for sure is in this one. Comes out next week, June 7th. And one more still book. This is like the still book reviews. And uh, one right here just comes out June 14th. So I got this in early, but I wanted to put it out there in case you guys want to pre-order it or if you guys want to get it before it sells out because this one might sell out. Uh, so I'm putting it out there now and review two weeks ahead of time before it comes out. So remember, June 14th this comes out. Watched a few days ago with my mom actually. That is the 4K of still book, Raiders of the, La uh, the Lost Ark. Look at that beautiful steel book up there. My classic movie that started all the Ed Jones adventures, you know, with Harrison Ford, all that stuff. Great stuff. Love this steel book. This is an amazing steel book. Looks and sounds great in 4K. I do have the 4K set of this thing, so I knew it was gonna be good when I watched it again. I've watched it all since I got that set, so it was cool. We watched this, watching my mom a few days ago. That was fun. We both enjoyed it. A great popcorn movie. So we're having some popcorn watching this. But this is, man, if you're a collector, this, if you're a fan of this movie and franchise, beautiful steel book. And this has all the bells and whistles. I'll take out the uh, digital code for you guys and show you what's like inside. And as I said, it's a boatload of extras in this thing, all kinds of making up, behind the scenes, all that stuff up in there. There's the Ark of the Covenant. They're on a search for that. And uh, just a great, you know, Indiana Jones, you cannot go wrong. So classic stuff is that. You also get a mini poster of this thing too, of the original 
uh, poster art. If you want something like that up on your wall in your man cave or whatever, you got that too up in here. But this is a great collection piece. This one, one of these ones that might sell out. So that's why I figured I'll put it out there early. In case you guys are into this, you want to get this fan this franchise, pre-order it now. This way you don't miss out on that kind of deal. And here's the, here's the, the back of it with a little uh, slip sleeve right up there. All kinds of features this thing said. So looks fantastic on 4K. Sounds amazing. Like you just, it looks so good. Just a great adventure movie. Fun stuff. So ho hopefully they'll put all the other ones out. I'm pretty sure they will on its still book too. So you can have all these on this awesome still book, which I know they had like a still book set that came out too about maybe almost a year ago or so. And but I love how these ones look with, with the but the black paint right there with the just kind of the, the artwork just pops. Like look at the colors of that thing. It just pops. So this is hopefully they'll have them all out on still book form because that'd be great to have in the movie collection for sure. On the shelf is a nice display piece. These will rock. And next up here, this comes, this comes out next Tuesday, June 7th on 4K. And that is a movie starring Chris Pine. That is The Contractor. I saw this yesterday. Really pretty fun uh, action thriller movie is this. It's Chris Pine's character. He's uh, discharged from special forces. So he's, and he's got his pension taken away. So he's forced into like going to this underground elite military force. And in doing so, they get, they, they get caught up in a mission and he's getting hunted down from the government. So he has to find his way to get out of this turmoil he's in. Has he been framed? Has he not been framed? What's going on? Trying to get his life back. And this nice little action thriller, you know, movie. It's like stuff like Born Identity and things like that. You'll definitely enjoy The Contractor. Good, good stuff. Last some Paramount Pictures I'm gonna talk about. This one, this, this one just came out the, this past week, a few days ago, May 31st. If you wanna get it, it's available now. First time on Blu-ray, and that is Kinky Boots. Never heard this one, and pretty fun one, based on a Broadway musical, as the uh, main actor right up here, uh, his character, uh, Charlie Price, um, his family's into like making shoes, and you know, kink, you know boots, movie kinky boots, but he's this, his, the business is about to go bankrupt, so he gets a new consultant, which is like a drag queen, and they make these, and then so he starts making boots for like drag shows, all these crazy shows, and that kind of thing like that, to save his family business, because he grew up in a real conservative, making conservative, you know, kind of like boring shoes. Now, now like really out there, sparkly shoes, kinky boots shoes, and things like that. And it's like, it's like the, the success of At The Savings Company. So it's a fun one up here. So this also stars, this has uh, Nick Frost from Shaun of the Dead. He's in this thing. I didn't know that. Funny stuff when I was watching this. Definitely a fun one to watch with the, the family, your friends or whatever. Definitely a cool one up here. I wasn't sure what to think of it. I thought like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. It's gonna be like, I don't know, but I was thoroughly surprised by this kinky boots. And you also get some extras in this thing, a nice little commentary track behind the scenes, and so much more. So this is available now. So into this, you want to check it out, kinky boots, get kinky with it. Right now, I've got one thing to talk about from Mill Creek Entertainment. And that is some Ultraman Exhibus, the complete series up here on DVD. And you get them all up in here, up here, check it out. Look at that. Oop, this one disc just popped out. Let me fix it up real quick. Bam, we're good to go. But here it is all on different discs of this TV show, another uh, Ultraman type uh, spinoff type show, all kinds of stuff, this thing. So look, you wanna check this out more if you're a big fan of Ultraman, Mill Creek is the place to be. They have all your Ultraman goods. Good stuff right there. That's it for the reviews. So if you guys like what I talked about and everything like that, want interested in these titles that I mentioned, links down below if you wanna get these titles at more. So a few of these ones come out next week and the one of them, I said the Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones one comes out the week after. So I just wanna put out there a head start for you guys in case you guys are interested in these titles before they sell out, sell out. Cause I know a lot of these still books can sell out and be very sought after. So I wanna put it out there and thank you Paramount for giving me the early releases on those so I can put it out there for all you guys in case you guys wanna get those at and collect them and things like that so they don't sell out, you guys can hopefully do so. And now back to the rest of this video. If you guys enjoy my reviews right there, links down below, like I said before, if I wanna get those at and more, and now let me show you what I got to close out the video at the, at the toy store, Retro Toy Goodness. I'm show you what I picked up over there. Very cool. That is this, Nightmare on Elm Street from the 80s, stickers complete in box. I don't know if, I don't know if all the stickers and all the, all the sets, I think there's like 48 packs. We'll count them. $30, but I got it for like 25. So really good deal. This goes for more than that uh, online. But yeah, very cool. I saw that in there and I was like, you know what? I gotta get that. And you know, I've been watching some Freddy's Nightmares lately. And this might be around that time when that came out, I think. So let's crack this open and take a look inside, huh? 
And there we go. You can see it a little bit better. Oh, that looks looks so cool. It's a nice little dis display piece just to have. Let me open this up uh, carefully. I don't want to break nothing. Yeah, let's do. It looks like maybe all the packs are in there. I don't know, but look at these little these cool stickers. They look like new. Well, they are new, but like from like nineteen, I believe eighty eight. Yeah, right up there. Look at that. Let me count these. Let me see if they have full or forty of them. I don't know. Let me count them up. So in case you're wondering, it does look like this inside. Like they got them stacked like that. I counted and it's all 48 packs complete that make that complete right there. Dude, that is amazing. But look at that. Love how these packs look. Well, maybe I'll open one up. You know, maybe, right? Like what the heck? Here we go, 1988 style. Let's open these up. Let's open these up. Oh yeah, get that, get that 1988 air. It smells like 88. Actually, it smells like kind of like oil and cardboard, but it's okay. That's what 88 smelled like, I think. But here they go. Up in here, I know some of you guys are like, what are you doing, Danny? But I'm going to do it like that because it's for you guys. Okay, I'm still going to keep the wrapper, of course. I'll put it right back in there. There's like a Freddy Krueger, so I have his face. What is this, like an ear? It's like an ear. <laughs> it's like weird stickers. I guess to complete it, it's like part of a glove. That's from Nightmare Street Part 2. The Freddy in the, in the bathtub getting like, Nancy's leg. And there you go, the original girl. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Mm. Special for Freddy fans. An Emerald Street can, uh, Companion, a behind the scenes guidebook you can get. If you, could, if you get that dress right there. So if you guys can mail that address, you might be able to get that. Fun stuff, I'm, I'm gonna put those cards back in the little packaging and it'll be complete except one opened up. But anyway, yeah, cool, cool stuff. How to open one of those up, right? I wish I came with gum, I'm gonna eat some old gum. But I didn't, but that's all right. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's fun going down retro lane, down, 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 down the vibes of nostalgia goodness. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reviews too of uh, some awesome still books that are coming out. They came out and everything like that. So if you wanna get those and you're a fan of still books, Good stuff to get right there. I said link down below if you want to get those at more. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Oh, yes. And oh, yeah, real quick, too. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I got my PayPal link down below in case you want to donate to the channel. That's all right down there, too. Follow me up on Facebook, Twitter. Also, on, I, mean, I, I, start, I started to do TikTok. So if you want to go on TikTok, just look up Sinistalker on TikTok. You can see my cringy butt on there, too. Oh, yeah, I'm just I'm all everywhere. And if you're on my channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later then. Bye-bye. Also, go Celtics. Yes. Jason Tatum, the boys. Come on, let's do it. Yeah.